We usually start assessment of the scoliosis x-rays by looking at the frontal plane first. Typically in idiopathic scoliosis, patients will have three different types of curves. They will have a proximal thoracic curve, a main thoracic curve, and a lumbar or thoracolumbar curve. Next, we measure something called the Cobb angle for each of these curves, which is measured from the most tilted segment above and below the apex of this curve. Another thing we look at is the shoulder balance to determine which shoulder is higher. And finally, we look at the pelvis and the lengths of the legs. We can look at the hips or the triradiate cartilage to see if the patient still has growth remaining. In an upcoming clip, I'll review how we assess the flexibility of scoliosis.